So, welcome to this video, and I guess it's not the normal video, but sometimes you usually fuck up and you delete your stuff. Uh, in this case, it happened to me a few days ago where I want to create a new file, and uh, it was named, I don't know, I called it something. And when I was going to delete this, delete this file, I marked, instead of marking this file and click on delete, I accidentally clicked on something else which selected all the files and when I clicked on uh, delete everything was deleted permanently so the first thing I looked at was the bin but the files was not there because uh, they were deleted permanently so the, you're not going to find them there but if you did use Microsoft Visual Studio there is a trick to get them back uh, but the first thing I recommend you doing is first off, uh, in case it happens again, make sure you mark your files like this. Like, give them right their like their name, their path, and their purpose in here. So you know when you find them where to place them, because that's gonna save you a lot of time. Also, something else you can do is uh, in here, like already right now. Create the copy of your like uh, I don't know, safety copy of your files because trust me you have space in your PC. Uh, rather like use a gigabyte to like store like data than uh, waste them pretty much. Uh, right, so let's say you have lost all your files right now. There is no way to get them back, but you know that you know the dates you worked on them. And it's PHP file source files, it's not like photos or something else, like because with the photos and PDF files, images, you can get them back if they're permanently deleted. That's not hard. Like any software out there can get your images back. That's not the hard part. Uh, but let's say you worked on a big project, you messed up and you lost all your files. There is a way to get them, even if it's PHP. It's a bit messed up, but it works. It will save you time. So, for example, let's say we delete all this now. Uh, the thing is, you know, when you do changes here in uh, Visual Studio, you can go back. And you going back means the, the, the versions has been saved in your PC. Because if they were not saved, then you wouldn't be able to go back. And this is done automatically in Visual Studio Code. And... Uh, that is good because that means that every single f like every single edit you have done between a certain amount of time has been saved and the latest version of your edits has been saved on a certain file. So where do we find these files then? Yes, we go over here and we go you go to your you know, desktop on the files and you write you write app data. Assuming you have this, assuming you have Visual Studio Code at all. And then you're gonna enter code here, which is Visual Studio Code. And you're gonna enter user, which is you basically. And you're gonna enter history. Now you're gonna get all these files here. And if you if you can see those, it's a good this is a good sign. It means that uh, your files are still here. And uh, basically, each one of those represent one file with different version. so versions. So basically if we enter this one, you see there is, uh, what is it, five uh, JavaScript uh, files, but here's, here's the thing. If you put them on, like based on time, uh, so something, this is the latest, yeah. Now this one is the latest JavaScript file you have edited. And this is the least updated one. So if we enter both of them, here's here's gonna be some uh, the file we just entered a minute ago. It's this one. And uh, if we go back here again and enter this one, this one is the same but without uh, this part. Now these two are the same files, but uh, in different versions basically. Now you you see the name here has uh, changed and that's the like the trade-off you get for you know deleting it so your files are still here 
Uh, so what you can do is sort it by latest and pick up the, the latest one. Then you do that which, with each one. And let's see if we can find a PHP one as well. JavaScript. There's a lot of JavaScript here. Uh, yeah, like for this one. There's like login, I just to change something on it. And uh, yeah, basically, basically this one has doesn't have this part, a part here where the session is started. Well, we go to this one. Also doesn't have it because it probably was removed. But anyways, it, it's at least the latest version, so you can't really complain. You're saving time when you recover them. And you can pretty much track uh, go back in time and like if you know you worked on a file like 13th uh, September you can go back to 13 see what kind of file is in this case PHP did you work on a JavaScript file then it's not this one maybe it's inside of this etc so you can go back and uh, get back all your files basically be it the PHP JavaScript whatever else there is to choose by and also uh, another tip is pretty much to save your files in github uh, or maybe get the git so you can pretty much you know save your files automatically uh, on request so yeah that's about it on how to recover permanently deleted uh, files and you see this goes way back like or like 2022 so if you delete your files like w like one year back you can still recover them with some luck if you find them Assuming you're using your your like your same PC and you have not done something weird to it. Well, that's about it. I hope uh, this helps and adios.